Amazing news, Disney fans! Disney has unveiled a new mass grave where fans can be buried alive with their favorite characters forever. The experience allows customers of all ages to get thrown into a large 200-acre pit where they'll suffocate alongside Mickey, Minnie, and all of their pals. While tickets cost a pretty penny, customers say you just can't put a price on dying in the dirt along Snow White and her seven dwarves. Mass grave slots are selling out quick, but don't worry, because Disney is hoping to expand the experience soon with even more characters, including Star Wars, Marvel, and Pixar versions, as well as an express lane to skip ahead to the afterlife even faster. President Biden has given the nation the nuclear launch codes just in case anything ever happens to him. The president promised he wasn't going anywhere soon, but said whenever he did, U.S. citizens needed to be ready to oversee the country's 5,000 nuke defense arsenal. Biden also asked Americans to please write the codes down so they don't forget them then announced the codes to one of the most devastating weapons as follows, 3X524980. Immediately after the press conference, the president asked that no one As an ally to the black community, I believe in doing the right thing, always. As allies, it isn't enough to just be passively accepting. We have to stand up against racism in all its ugly forms, which is why I, as an anti-racist ally, refuse to say absolutely any word that starts with the letter N. I'll admit it, growing up, I used to say words that start with N all the time. N-I-C-E, N-E-C-K, N-O, but I was ignorant. I was racist, and I'm sorry. Today, I know better. I'm educated. I know what it means to be a true anti-racist ally to the black community, and that means nev- Refusing to ever say any word that starts with N. I believe anyone who claims to be an ally to black people, but then continues to use words that start with N, isn't a true ally at all. I mean, you might be asking, did a black person tell me to do this? N mm mm Because the black community shouldn't have to tell us to stop saying words like N-A-K-E-D. That's on us. Maybe, like me, you were raised to think it was okay to say words that start with N. Well, it's time to unlearn that. For instance, instead of saying, hmm, I'm hungry for N-A-C-H-O-S, try saying, hmm, I'm hungry for cheesy chips. It can be exhausting educating people, but it is such a small step that can make a huge difference. For example, once I was at a restaurant with a friend and she tried to order N-A-C-H-O-S, I interrupted her and I tried to tell her that they're called cheesy chips, but she got defensive and argumentative. She said that since Spanish is her first language, she should be allowed to say N-A-C-H-O. And so I said, well, maybe you should speak English. I think if a black person had been there, they would have shaken my hand and said thank you for calling them cheesy chips. It isn't easy being an ally. You might even lose friends. But at the end of the day, I'm proud to say I always stand up for what I believe in.